Hello! So in the last episode, we put all of this rig together. Um, for now, we actually don't need the rig, so I'm going to select it and press H. In this episode, all we're going to be doing is refining and sorting the texture, because we're going to be making our own 3D clothes, so we do not need the clothing on the avatar. So I'm going to show you how to do that using texture painting. So we're going to hit this texture paint tab. Uh, and now obviously we could just draw straight on. We're not going to do that. We want to select the colour on the body here. Um, but once we've done that, you'll notice that if I drag down, it's going to make this colour, which is not the colour we want. So we're going to click this little arrow up here. And then instead of Studio Matcap, we're going to go flat. Now if I select the colour, It'll be the actual colour that we want. So we're now just going to select and colour the whole thing in other than the face. We want to keep the face. But that's the only bit we want to keep. Everything else can go. And you can just draw it on here if you prefer it. It's a lot easier. Just remember that you don't want to accidentally go over the hair, because we want the hair. Doesn't matter about anything being slightly messy, because you really don't have to do much for this. It's just getting rid of anything that's uh, not required. There we have our completely naked character. Um, it was asked of me in the last episode how I make the um, character sort of look a lot smoother. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is go image, pack. No, it's shading. Brilliant. Here's how I made the shiner go uh, in its weird sort of shine that it had. Uh, so let me add a light in quick. Okay, so notice currently it looks very plasticky. Um, the way I always do my bodies is I drag the color into the subsurface and I read the subsurface a lot. Um, around about 0.7 is what I would go for with this. And I'll add that sort of fleshy undertone. You can obviously tweak this as much as you like. Um, you can go maximum, but I wouldn't because you'll start to get um, the face being slightly letting in a little bit too much. But you'll notice that the difference is the redness. So the subsurface is affecting how much light can penetrate into the mesh. Um, so with none, no light is penetrating. So if I go like that and organize it here, you'll see that the sun is not coming through the hand at all. And as I raise this, you got the sun coming through the hand. So if you hold your hand up to a lamp, you'll see this in action, particularly between fingers, between your thumbs. Um, so that's how real skin works. So I find you're probably going to want around 0.7, maybe lower. Um, and that's how I do my skin to make it look uh, nice and sort of smooth. Gets that nice fleshy feel to it. So thank you very much for watching. And next episode, we are going to be doing the posing of the character. Um, and we'll do the exporting. And then we'll do another episode for the actual creation of the cloth. So... Hit the like, subscribe button, um, do your thing. Um, thank you very much for 100 subscribers. Didn't expect to get that, to be honest. But um, brilliant. I will see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening.